Hey -o. um, it's our next lesson in cooking, I guess. What we're doing today for dinner is a leftover casserole. So, lots of times throughout the week, by the end of the week, we've got leftovers from almost every day of the week. And my wife's really good at taking the leftovers to work and eating them for lunch, and uh, so am I. But, um, occasionally we find ourselves with just a massive amount of leftovers and it has to get eaten somehow so today I'm gonna make a casserole with all of our leftovers the first thing that I have is a red rice this is about a half a cup of cooked red rice I'm gonna do another cup of cooked rice and you can do anything this is red rice and the other cup I'm gonna make is white rice it can be any kind of rice you can pick um, any kind of already cooked pasta as well um, that's just gonna act as our base and then um, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pick out our protein so if you have any kind of leftover meat um, ham works really well, fish works really well. I'm actually going to use some beans, and just some regular black beans, and some hard-boiled eggs. And the hard-boiled eggs, you'll just chop, chop them up into chunks. And then what you'll want to do is you want to pick a vegetable. And it usually is best to pick a vegetable that's already cooked. What we have is some broccoli, some steamed broccoli left over, so I'm going to use that and but but you could use anything i would say if you're gonna use zucchini to use a fresh <laughs> zucchini um but you could use frozen corn frozen peas you could use them from a can you could use um just from leftovers if you had even just like a vegetable medley leftover the only thing you don't want to do is really put in a raw root vegetable so no onions no potatoes no garlic um that is raw you really want those things to be cooked um <clears throat> and the very last thing you're going to put in is a sauce and you can do the sauce two ways you can do a um sauce from a can so if you had a pasta sauce a tomato sauce a spaghetti sauce white or red doesn't matter or you can do a soup um, and today I'm actually going to use some other leftovers to make a cream of celery soup So I've got like a whole thing of celery here. I've got a green pepper half a red onion I'm gonna put some salt and pepper and I'm gonna put about uh, One to two cups of milk in a big pot and I'm just gonna simmer that for a couple of hours and once the vegetables are really soft, I'm going to use an immersion blender. You could use a food processor, a blender, whatever you have. Um, I personally like the immersion blenders. Use the immersion blender, you know, really mix that all up until it's a, a nice good liquid. And then we're going to combine all of our ingredients in a bowl, stick them in a greased uh, pan, stick them in the oven, 350, um, bake it for 10, 15 minutes, cover it with some cheese, breadcrumbs if you wanted, cook it for a little bit longer. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and pause right here and we'll come back when I get to the next step because right now I just need to cook the um, celery soup. Um, I do recommend using regular milk, not like a soy milk or a in any other kind of milk. If you don't want to do a cream of uh, of vegetable, whatever the vegetable is, um, you could use some leftover chicken broth um, to make it vegan, or like you could even just dump in a can of diced tomatoes. Don't drain them. Use the juices as well, um, and that that would be a vegan option. Okay. Okay, so I've got everything here in this bowl except for the celery soup that I'm making. Um, let me show you that right here. Uh, it's got green peppers, red onions, salt, pepper, celery, and I'd say I put about a cup and a half to two cups of milk in there. I didn't really measure it. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix everything up that's in the bowl. I'm going to grease the pan 
So the way you can grease the pan, I would recommend using vegetable oil or butter, um, you know, something like Pam or olive oil, um, you know, any other kind of like cooking spray. Might give it um, a little bit of a weird taste, but if that's all you have, use it because it's still, it's going to do what it needs to do. And what it needs to do is keep the rice or the pasta from sticking. So let me go over this recipe one more time because this is really an opportunity for you to get creative, to think about the flavor profile that you want, um, to decide what you're going to do finally with all those leftovers that are just sitting in your fridge waiting to go bad. So the first thing you want to do is pick a base. You can pick a pasta or rice, but it needs to be cooked first. Don't put uncooked pasta or rice in this casserole. It will not cook in the oven and you will be very sad. Then you need to pick a protein. Uh, for this I've picked some hard boiled eggs, a can of black beans, you could do some chopped up meat, you could do some leftover ground meat, even if you had made hamburgers you could break those hamburgers up um, back into just ground beef. Uh, you could really, you could do anything. It could be tofu, it could be um, like I said, any kind of beans, and then you'll want to pick a vegetable. Again, you want it to be cooked. Um, if it's uncooked, a squash would probably be fine. Um, a frozen or canned vegetable would, would be fine to throw in there before you like heat it up on the stove. But do not put raw potatoes, raw carrots, raw beets, no kind of root vegetable onions, garlics, don't put that in there raw because it's not going to cook and it's not going to taste good. So the base, the veggies, the meat or whatever kind of protein you're using, and the very last thing is going to be the sauce. And you have lots of options for that as well. So you can do a sauce from a jar, you can do a leftover sauce that you already have, um, an Alfredo or a red spaghetti sauce. Um, you can just open up a can of diced tomatoes and pour that on top. It doesn't matter. Uh, you can use a cream of whatever soup, cream of mushroom, cream of chicken, cream of broccoli, cream of celery. I'm making my own cream of celery because I had a bunch of celery left over that needed to get used. And um, that's just going to be a couple hours of simmering until those vegetables are soft. Blend it up, pour it right over the top of what you're making, stick it in the oven at 350 for about 15 minutes or so. Pull it out, put some cheese if you want, put some breadcrumbs if you want, put it back in for another, well really just until the cheese is melted, another 15 minutes or so. So that's a total of about a half an hour at 350 if you don't stop it and pull it out. And there you go, you got yourself a leftover casserole and it's super tasty. Uh, make sure that the mix you put in the bowl, make sure you just put like a teaspoon of salt, a teaspoon of pepper over that. You could even put um, a teaspoon or two of chili powder just to give it a little kick. Uh, even paprika would work just to give it a little bit of flavor. And yeah, I think it's a great way to use up what you have in your fridge that really needs to get eaten before it goes bad. So um, enjoy. Let me know what you create. And um, goodbye forever.